Hi there, everybody. How are you today? I hope you're doing well and you had a good weekend and welcome back to my channel. This is Empathic Moon 777. I am your tarot card reader, Durga Diana. I want to welcome you to this reading. This is the daily tarot messages from Loving Spirit series that I offer on my YouTube channel. Thank you to all of the followers and subscribers to both my YouTube channel and Instagram. And we're going to get started on the reading today. Please keep in mind it's a general reading, so only take what resonates for your situation. Simply leave what does not and follow your intuition on the reading. You're going to know if this is resonating with you. I'm going to talk about what the reading is about at this time. And then you're going to know and then follow the reading, how it applies to your situation and definitely follow your intuition. All right, we're going to get started on the reading. Uh, today's reading is about the energy is related to um, a main female energy. So if you are a feminine energy, maybe you're a divine feminine, you identify as a divine feminine or you are the main female in your life, um, it's connected to a main female. So this could also be somebody that you see as as the main female. Um, if, if you are um, in a connection, because this is a love reading, um, it has to do with the main female. So the, this reading is about a main female who's in this energy of confusion. So she's confused right now, this main female. This main female is... Um, she could be like in her maybe anywhere from the mid 30s, um, maybe early 40s. It doesn't necessarily have to be um, maybe even later 20s. But this main female energy, you know, she's a feminine energy that's, um, you know, sees herself as the main female. She looks after herself. She's um, very strong and very um charismatic and also has that um she also has an innocence to her that's what i'm picking up here and there's something uh having to do with the heart space um there's some kind of concern going on because i feel something in my heart right now some kind of concern she's holding a rose um this concern may be having to do with um her connection because it has the lovers here Okay, so it's regarding a main female in this energy of confusion. All right, so it has to do, the reading has to do with this balance, the two of angels uh, regarding lovers. So I'm getting here, there's a confusion regarding this main female about this, how to balance, uh, how to balance this lover's energy. So um, she, she may, this is a passionate energy with the lovers here. Um, so... Maybe it's about maintaining this passion too, because this is what I'm seeing with the statue, something that is always there. Uh, it could be about passion. There's two doves here um, indicating some type of love, right? Some kind of love connection. So it's about balancing this love, this lovers, this passion. Um, and it's connected to sharing the love and perseverance. So... This passion here with this statue that I was seeing here, it's about maintaining and sharing that love, persevering through that love, all right? This sharing this love could also be about sharing love with other people, um, like having loving connections with other people, persevering through this energy of sharing love. So... Um, I'm getting here, maybe a part of this balance is part of sharing the love with other people as well, okay? Um, through this passion uh, that you have with this person, it's about you're persevering through this uh, energy where there may be some type of imbalance, where there may be some type of confusion with this main female to you're persevering through uh, sharing the love uh, with other connections, all right? So this is like compassionate love. Like this is sharing, being loving towards other people. This is not um, about getting into other relationships. This is an energy about being compassionate and sharing love with other people, okay? So this is the situation going on with this main female energy 
And the message here connected to this reading is about having faith with this chaser energy. Chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. So this could be connected to a twin flame connection. All right. So if you identify with the twin flame connection, um, this could be a, a reading for you. Um, but this chaser energy is about somebody like somebody is chasing, right? And it's having faith regarding this chasing. You're chasing a person um, because you want to be um, with this person, perhaps. Or um, you're wanting to communicate with this person. Um, or you're afraid, um, you know, that this person is not going to come back. And maybe this chaser energy is taking place. But there's a faith here. They're saying to have faith with this person chaser energy because I also see this perseverance as well and this can is connected to uh, an awakening about choosing your battles okay so um, I'm getting here that this reading is something is going to take place for you there's going to be some kind of um, new learning or new understanding um, there's going to be some type of emergence coming uh, from the waters, you're going to understand through the emotions, you're going to have a new understanding um, that could be connected to um, the third eye, a new vision, a new awakening. Uh, something's going to happen to you with this choosing your battles energy. This is like uh, not getting into conflict all the time. This is like knowing when to walk away. This is knowing you know is it you know do you need to get into do you need to get involved in in situations to uh you know prove a point so it's about choosing you know which battles to pick and which are which are the ones that you should are worthwhile which ones are you know worthy of putting your energy into right so um there's an awakening taking place and it has to do with choosing your battles and um, having a faith in this chaser energy okay so this is what the reading is about and um, what's going on with this main female and this confusion so she's wanting to surrender right now she's um, surrendering right now um, and letting go all right she's letting go uh, to be able to move forward with the solar plexus chakra moving forward in power, mo moving forward um, in her inner strength. And um, she's wanting to surrender. And so what is part of this confusion with this main female? So she's confused about this child energy, which is um, a new beginning. She's, this child energy could be a child, but I'm also getting with this child, it's about a new beginning. She's confused about how to move forward with this new beginning okay and she's wanting to surrender to move forward uh in this energy using her solar plexus chakra which is about being in your power and moving forward in stability so this is what's going on here and so i asked spirit okay what are the situations here uh, that you want to bring it to her this main female's attention so this situation about the coffee cup, meeting and conversating, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted and friendship. This energy here is connected to the path and exploration. All right. So there's a situation here where you may be considering in this new beginning a path of exploration when it comes to meeting uh, maybe new people, having new friendships, and feeling more uplifted, all right? So with that energy here, Spirit is wanting to tell you that there is success and growth with this pathway and this exploration with this coffee cup energy. And there's success and growth, which means this is a positive energy and it's going to help you to grow um, as a person and it's going to help you to feel more successful there's some budding um, leaves uh, coming from the branches and so that means growth right there's positive growth 
Um, there is new life forming in connection to feeling withdrawn. Five of Angels, which is like the Five of Cups uh, energy sadness. So it's success and growth from feeling this energy of sad, maybe withdrawn. Um, maybe you've been feeling a little bit isolated from other people and this path of exploration meeting and conversating more as this new beginning i'm getting here is a positive thing there's going to be success and growth for you uh, the second situation here we have is girl talk mm. talking with friends moving on happily single living in the moment having fun so this energy is coming through and it's connected to um, loving yourself and being in your power this is about um you know doing the things that you enjoy for yourself and i just seen a light flash um so i just wanted to say um that with this energy here it's being happy on your own being happily happily single on your own living in the moment and having fun and it's connected to this expansion card so this is the situation you might be wondering about um that is maybe part of this confusion and how you're going to move forward with this new beginning so this is the situation here about this expansion the universe so expanding in this energy is the situation spirit wants to talk about and what do they want to say regarding these energies here um, so they're wanting to let you know with this, with this energy of being in your power, loving yourself, being true to yourself and expanding in this energy. They're wanting to let you know to make a dedicated effort. All right. So yes. So this is saying like, yes, go all in with yourself when it comes to you, make it a dedicated effort for yourself, the details, um, you know, when you're going to make a painting, you know, take the time to look into those details, give it time, give it care, give it thought, you know, make it, um, make your painting so beautiful and so bright. Um, so make that effort there and make the effort with this Ace of Trees. All right. This is the Ace of Wands. This is a new beginning. This is your abundance, right? So this is basically spirit saying, yes, go for it. Make a dedicated effort towards your abundance. And um, this new beginning here, um, what I'm getting here is positive energies here for your success and growth and making a dedicated effort. This is going to be uh, a part of your um, awakening uh, in terms of, you know, what kind of battles do you want to choose? Which battles do you leave alone? And um, I'm getting here, leaving that battle um, and choosing yourself is, is the best thing here right now. That's what I'm picking up here. And um, that's what I'm getting here. So I'm going to leave it at that here. So uh, let me know if this resonated by liking, commenting, sharing, or subscribing to Empathic Moon 777. I want to thank you and wish you a good day wherever you are. I really appreciate you guys and I love you and have a good day.